Hey guys, it's Aaron again with a Technique Thursday tip for you. And this is using Ableton and a MIDI effect to accomplish something that would usually take three or four hands. As a uh, sole keyboardist in my band, I'm always trying to find new ways to trigger things coming up. I don't always use tracks for everything. I like to do a lot of things live. So one of the things that I've thought about doing is finding a way to trigger a big boom, a bass drop, or something like that to happen at the top of the next measure. But my hands might not always be free to play that, so I'd like a way to cue it up ahead of time and then have it play at the top of the measure. I found one Ableton MIDI effect that does that really well, and let me demonstrate for you what's going on. You're going to have to bear with me holding my phone uh, to record this. <laughs> I'm not able to do a screen recording at the moment. Um, and show a camera shot of what I'm doing. So we'll just go with a handheld phone. So here I have a, a track setup called Boom. And in this track, I have an instance of Omnisphere with the distorted Boom patch. And that's all we need to know about that for right now. And then looking in here, you can see I've got my Q Nexus set as the input and the track is record enabled for the moment just so I can play it. So you can see as I play my Q Nexus I've got a nice big boom happening. So let's go up here and modify it. So I'm going to drop in the arpeggiator which is under MIDI effect and then arpeggiator at the top there. So I'm going to drop that down right in front of Omnisphere. First thing I'm going to do is change the rate up to a whole note and then I'm going to enable hold and hold causes the pattern to stay or I guess it causes the MIDI input to stay there until the pattern has played and then I'm going to change the number of repeats for the arpeggiator uh, just to one repeat. I only want it to happen once. So with that uh, we can move on to the next step. So up here, I usually run clicks from Ableton, and my band and I have been playing with clicks long enough that we never have to worry about where the downbeat is. So in order for this to work, you're going to need to be able to play with a click and always make sure that your one is the same as Ableton's one count. And there's a lot of ways of doing that, but um, just so you can hear it here, I'm going to start the transport and you can hear what my click sounds like and where the one is here. So I've got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And we're just gonna let that run. And because of those settings I set on the arpeggiator, I can play a note anytime and it's not gonna play until the one of the next beat. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four two, three, four, one, that sort of thing. And I think that's a really cool concept that can be used a lot of different ways for triggering, uh, sorry, I don't know what that was, uh, but I can see that being used a lot of different ways to trigger sounds or something coming up. I've got another channel here, and this one has a tubular bell on it, same thing. I'm going to drag in the arpeggiator just so you can see again I'm going to enable hold set the rate to a whole note change the number of repeats to one and then I'm going to pull back here I'll start my transport So I hope you can see what's going on there. I am taking the note that I'm playing on the Q Nexus, dumping it into the arpeggiator. The arpeggiator is holding that note until the downbeat of the next measure, and then it's firing it and playing the pattern once and calling it quits. So this could be applied to a lot of different things. One of the things I'm gonna build it into is being able to cue up a noise sweep that lasts a measure or two and comes in 
you know, with the big bass drop after that, that type of thing. But you could go through and apply this to a bunch of different stuff. Again, this is just a quick concept idea. It's still in its infancy, and I need to see where it goes. But just thought I would throw that out there and give you a little tip for um, sometimes playing with two or three hands, or at least what appears to be two or three hands when you have a lot of stuff going on. Um, hope you enjoy it. Let me know if you have any questions. You can always send me a Facebook message or comment on this video or shoot me an email at the email address in the description. Thanks.